excited. He can get some great air off of the ground. Uh, doesn't, doesn't help that your face is all the way up here and his is down here. So when we do uh, come home as owners and we know that our dog is very, very excited to see us, sometimes it's difficult to get them to uh, stop jumping or to focus on us. And he commands like sit or stay or something like that because they're so excited. And previously I did have a family that had two large German Shepherd mixes um, in their yard so they had to bypass their dogs in order to get into their house. And the two German Shepherds were siblings and they were just bouncing off all of the walls, all over the people, jumping up to eye level, uh, running them over, things like that. So because they can't uh, just go inside of their area without their dog jumping all over them, uh, what I recommended for them was to uh, Don't talk to him, don't touch him, or anything like that. 
Again, remove yourself from his sight. This, not meaning that you have to go back outside, but perhaps if you go into your room or something like that, an area in, in which you would be separated from Kai, close the door, wait, open the door. We want to gauge Kai's reaction to you. If he decides he needs to calm down a little bit, take it down a couple notches, and then at that point, I recommend you have a goodie for him. Sit, good boy, and then after that point, when you know that he is in that calmer state of mind, that point, he can get affection. So, starting from the very beginning, come into the house, maybe unlocking the door, you hear Kai there, wait or stay, we want to make sure that he stays put when we're coming into the house. We don't want him to run out or be underfoot or anything like that. So wait or stay, whichever one you choose. In the event that he does not listen, whoop, close the door, no interaction. Wait a few more minutes um, or depending on how long you decided or you're able to wait, wait that long. So you're going to be opening the door again. Gauging Kai's reaction, again telling him to wait or stay. And he knows these things. He knows what stay is and he can do it very well. However, that whole excitement level, him going up to level 10, he's not going to listen to anything. So that's the reason why we're removing ourselves, which the person is the object of all of the excitement. So by you taking yourself away, you're removing that excitement. Reintroducing yourself again, it's like using your own self as the distraction. Reintroducing yourself again, give him a command, wait or stay. You can go inside, do what you need to. If Kai decides he's going to break that wait or stay, ignore him. You want to completely just ignore him. If that does not help, then once again, remove yourself from the situation. Enter a room in which Kai does not have access and wait. He's going to be wondering what is going on and why are my mom and dad not paying attention to me? I'm trying so hard to get them to pay attention. But that's the whole point. We want him to be in a calm state of mind in order to get affection. So use your judgment and when you find that he is in that better state of mind, he's able to fully understand I need to sit when they ask me to sit. I need to stay when they ask me to stay. That point, you can have your treat or whatever if you want, a toy, maybe Kai enjoys a ball or something, and uh, sit. And then at that point, when he, when he is in that relaxed state and you know, you can see that, that release of energy, that's the perfect time to go in and give him that affection. So we want to make sure that we avoid petting Kai at the times when he gets overly excited. So even though he, that's his way of asking for attention, we want to avoid talking to him, we want to avoid touching him, and we want to avoid direct eye contact. So in the very beginning, once you ask him to wait or stay, might not do it. Removing yourself is the most you can do at this point. He wants to see you. And if he does not see you, then that energy level is going to go down. That excitement is going to go down. So uh, I highly recommend practicing with a family friend or neighbor or something like that, or even just you two by yourselves, working with Kai's excitement level and knowing or uh, teaching Kai when um, the best time is for him to receive affection. At this time when he is calm, maybe he's sitting or laying down, at that point only he should be receiving affection. And this is all a whole learning process for Kai and he does very, very well with all of his commands but the one with the jumping that he has a little bit of trouble with, it's okay. He is a very high energy dog and by consistently working on this and doing the same things every time, making sure that we have a, a routine when we come home, will all work out for Kai. And he's a youngin still. He's barely out of puppyhood, huh? He's about almost, almost three or so, two and a half, I believe. 
on how kind has been uh, receiving you in the house with ignoring or removing yourself from him. And uh, this has been Nicole here with Kai, who is in the perfect state of mind for affection right now. And uh, 